Meghan has done some amount of talking since she became a duchess during her time in Nigeria, during her time in Australia, or even just any moment she is handed a mic, she's off. She loves to deep dive into topics that she knows nothing about. And throughout her time in Nigeria, although she was there to promote the Invictus Games, she managed to talk about anything and everything but the games. She celebrated her newly found Nigerian identity, discussed mental health and expatriation of the Nigerian people. However, today we are not going to look into what she said, but more how she said it and what we can interpret from her rather angry gestures. Let's get to the crunch. There is no doubt that Megan is good at speaking in front of public. She's clear and concise, articulate, eloquent. On paper, she's doing everything right. So where is she going wrong? She lacks sincerity, gravitas, and her words lack any real flesh and bones, creating this aptly named word salad problem in which she talks a lot it sounds clever, but it's meaningless and unconnected and, to put it bluntly, just incoherent. This is probably because she has a few different jargon words and phrases and anecdotes that she just loves to repeat and sometimes on autopilot, thus throwing them together in contexts that are unrelated. But right now we are not going to look at the context, but rather the delivery and why that might be be negatively impacting her image. Let's get one thing straight first. Megan is full of confidence. Yes, confidence. You may have thought I was going to say something else, Tiki. We are talking about confidence here. And oftentimes, that confidence makes her gesticulation appear too firm, severe, and altogether aggressive. When you mix these tense gestures with her face, which most of the time is in show mode, but on the occasion, her mask slips. And when that happens, we get these magic little insights, which resemble more of the classic Adolf-esque speech than anything regal. She comes across as rather angry, and that is a disagreeable quality for most of us to witness. In this example here, if we watch it without any sound, we see how she fluctuates between seeming quite happy and then seeming rather angry. Happy, angry, happy, angry. It's very confusing. Whether it happens for just two minutes out of every ten, or whether it's just a split second, People pick up on the aggressive tension and it's a turn off. Or maybe she's not aggressive at all. Maybe it's just a bad side effect from all of the Ozempic she's allegedly taking. Someone said a legend in her own mind. That is a well-established fact about what Meghan Markle feels about herself. She absolutely acts like she's a legend, but it all is just in her own mind. There are, of course, a couple people out there who do also feel that she is a legend, but those people might be crazy. Someone else said, she is so eloquent, love heart emoji. Underneath, someone has commented, it's called verbal diarrhea. This is the problem. She is eloquent. When you're listening to her, if you're not really listening to what she's saying, it does sound quite good. Her intonation, the way she presents herself, the confidence she has in her own voice. But when you listen to the context, we see the smoke and mirrors. It's confusing. It, she struggles to get to the point. But the resounding spirit I believe you'll hear is that you are the future. But I would like to add to that, that you are also the present. Someone else said, can't she just shut up? <laughs> well, this is one of her flaws. No, she can't. It's too enticing for her to hear her own voice because she doesn't have the, the skills in which she can objectively look at herself and criticize herself. Definitely not criticize herself. She has not developed that skill. It means that she really does think she's doing a great job each time. It would be good if she would read some negative comments because she could grow a lot from it. Someone else said, 
It's always so lacking in practical underpinning, just big hollow vocabulary. She's hollow. I think you've summarized the context of what she says perfectly. Hit like if you too have noticed Megan's tension during her speeches and subscribe to help the Crown family blossom. Tap the notification bell so you don't miss a future episode and we'll see you down in the comments.